Hey guys, welcome back to another sketching tutorial. In this lesson we will learn about composition, meaning how to create a well thought out drawing, some techniques you can use when creating this, along with some artistic vocabulary and how it is used. First we want to look at what composition actually means. This is a word you have probably seen before in other subjects, such as writing or in music. A composition is something that you consciously create using specific elements <clears throat> or principles of a given subject. Some elements of art that you would use and want to be aware of when you sketch are shape, line, value, form, and space. Other elements include texture and color, but we will not be using those in, in this lesson. Principles are techniques that can be used by synthesizing the elements, such as contrast, balance, and emphasis, or another word for emphasis is focal point. For example, when looking at this sketch, you can see that there are many different values that are made to show light areas and dark areas. Contrast is when you have a strong difference between the light and dark areas. Balance is a principle of design that focuses on what we call visual weight, which can be used to manipulate how the drawing is portrayed, whether the objects in your drawing overall are horizontal, vertical, symmetrical, or asymmetrical. Doing this can portray a specific expression or feeling with the way you present your sketch. Being aware of how you use balance can also help you to create a well thought out drawing because it shows your decision of how and where you arrange the objects in your composition. Words that we can associate with vertical are tall, high, big, and above. Usually when we see vertical lines or shapes, we think of something that is dominant or powerful. These are the type of general expressions that can come from using vertical lines and vertical balance when you sketch. Visual weight is being used in this artwork by making the tables at the bottom of the composition much larger than the people and the buildings in the middle and top. This shows that since the tables are larger, it makes them appear much closer to us and the buildings and people are smaller so it makes them appear further away. This not only makes the bottom of the work feel much heavier, but also creates a sense of depth and realistic space throughout the composition. Words we can associate with horizontal are laying down, relax, calm, and level. Usually when we see horizontal lines or shapes, we think of something that is slow or relaxed and not as dominant as vertical. These are general expressions that can come from using horizontal lines and balance when sketching. Horizontal balance is being used in this composition because of the way the objects are arranged. Even though the objects are not symmetrical on the left and right, the flowers in the vase on the left appears large and full, yet it is the only object that is dominant on the left side of the artwork. Objects on the right are smaller, but they are also more abundant. This provides a visual balance on both sides of the composition. Focal point or emphasis is a principle of design that refers to the most noticeable part of the work or the part of the composition that you see first. Being aware of how you create a focal point in your work is important because it tells the viewer where to look first. You can use many different techniques to achieve focal point when you create your composition. Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh is an iconic painting that shows the artist's interpretation of both the world around him combined with his memories and imagination of the past. He creates multiple focal points for the viewer to notice first, but he also creates movement that helps guide us from place to place in the work. There's no right or wrong answer when it comes to focal point because we all can interpret artwork differently depending on our own experiences. Some would say the moon on the top right corner of, is the focal point, with the way Van Gogh is using bright yellows that contrast with the blues that surround it. 
while the swirling lines also point us toward the moon as well. Others may see the tree silhouette on the left side as a focal point because of how large and dominant it is. What is the first thing you see when you look at this painting, and where do you look after you notice the focal point? Looking at this sketch of a cityscape, what is the focal point that you notice first? I could see the figure at the bottom left possibly being a focal point because of the contrast in value being created with the darker values, which almost creates a bit of a silhouette. However, noticing how this work was created could also change the way the focal point is found. This work is created using one-point linear perspective. This can be seen through the moving lines that all converge into one point in the composition. A viewfinder is a small frame that you can create to help view objects from observation. It helps you to crop out certain areas of what you see by framing in certain objects to help you understand how your composition will look before you start drawing. This is exactly what a camera or a cell phone does when you take a picture. Making a viewfinder is very simple. All you need is a piece of paper, a pair of scissors, and a pencil. If you have a ruler, you can also use that to draw straight lines. Start by figuring out the size of the viewfinder. I find it easiest to use about an eighth of the size of a piece of A4 paper. Fold your paper in half and draw in a frame that will, you will cut out. Be sure to cut out on the folded side because if you cut out on the open side, you will end up with a completely different shape that you can't really use. 